My name is Matt Rank. I'm an associate professor of medicine at Mayo Clinic in Arizona. Today I want to talk to you about aspirin reactions that happen in certain patients who have asthma and chronic sinus problems. This is a problem that affects about 7% of all patients with asthma and about 14% of patients who have severe asthma. It affects between 20 and 40% of people who have asthma, chronic sinus problems, and nasal polyps. When all of those things occur at once, this problem is called aspirin exacerbated respiratory disease. This is, used to be called Santner's triad or aspirin triad. Now, what happens when a person takes aspirin or medicines that are like aspirin called non-steroidal anti-inflammatories, these are medicines like ibuprofen, Motrin, Aleve, Naproxen, is that within about one to two hours, patients will start having nasal symptoms, congestion of the nose, dripping of the nose, or chest symptoms, tightness, wheezing, or shortness of breath. Now again, this only happens in the, in the proportion of people who are sensitive to aspirin and have these conditions. Now, why does this matter to patients and why does this matter to me as a doctor if somebody's aspirin sensitive? Well, it matters for a couple of reasons. The main reason, though, is because it gives us additional treatment options that patients who aren't aspirin sensitive really wouldn't respond to. So, the main thing that this allows us to consider doing is desensitizing people to aspirin. Now, this is hard for patients to understand and it seems it seems confusing. If somebody comes into me and says, I had a very concerning reaction to aspirin, and you're now telling me I'm going to treat you with aspirin for this condition, it may not make sense. And that's true. It's hard to understand how this works, and I'm not going to spend this time today explaining all the details of this, but what I am going to tell you is that we don't want you as patients taking aspirin and other medicines like that on your own outside the clinic. Instead, we want to bring you into our clinic and gradually expose you to aspirin, provoking a reaction that we can then treat and get you on aspirin treatment. Patients who are on aspirin treatment will often have significantly improved symptoms of their sinus problems and their asthma. There are other medicines that we can also use that are currently available and some medicines under study. Um, in patients specifically who are aspirin sensitive. So in conclusion, I want you to know that being sensitive to aspirin and having sinus problems and asthma is not something that everybody has, but those that do have that may, may specifically respond to certain treatments that we can offer.